Yeah, this uh, proposed new tax being uh, suggested by one city council member would not just apply to the new 17-story hospital tower that would be built attached here to UPMC Presbyterian Hospital. It would apply to every medical facility in the city of Pittsburgh and every institution of higher learning. So that means every patient at every medical facility, every student at an institution of higher learning within the Pittsburgh city limits would be faced with this proposed tax. On the same day, UPMC briefed Pittsburgh's Planning Commission on its new hospital tower to be built onto UPMC Presbyterian Hospital, Pittsburgh Councilman Reverend Ricky Burgess is proposing a 1% privilege tax on every patient's medical bill and every student's tuition bill paid to every medical and educational facility within the city limits. The $50 million a year it would raise would go to fix bridges and infrastructure. If you're on a bridge and it falls down, what good is a new hospital? If you're on a bridge and it falls down, what good is a new medical school? If you're on a bridge and it falls down, uh, what good is a, a university education? Artist renderings provided by UPMC show the new UPMC hospital tower. UPMC's told the City Planning Commission the tower will have 636 private rooms in what it calls a digital high-tech hospital. Groundbreaking is scheduled for this summer. And I believe the strongest institutions uh, which driving our economy right now is our education and medical institutions. And so we strongly want them to partner with us to generate the resources to fix our bridges and roads. The nonprofits themselves are tax exempt. Burgess doesn't believe the tax on patients and students would be a burden. Which well, actually very minor, it's only 1%, so it's a very minor amount. And we know that the um, the institutions of higher learning are raising their tuition, you know, almost every year. And we saw that you, uh, the hospitals and medical institutions are. Reactions we've heard so far, the Guinea administration said it had not heard of the councilman's proposal prior to it being introduced today. The administration's reviewing it. Pitt in an email indicates that it's looking forward to reviewing the legislation and engaging the city further. Allegheny Health Network says that it's still in the process of assessing the proposal. It says it does have serious concerns about how any such endeavor adds to the additional financial burden on those requiring medical care. No comment yet from UPMC. Reporting live in Oakland, Bob May. Pittsburgh's Action News 4.